On the western edge of the Mojave Desert, in Kern County, California, there is a place like nowhere else on Earth. In the skies over Mojave Airport, the first private enterprise spaceship showed the world a small, talented team could put a man into space. Amazing things happen here. It's really an entrepreneurial, uh, go-getting kind of place. One of the nice things is you taxi out in the morning and there's uh, guys flying spaceships. I fly uh, White Knight and uh, Spaceship Two. Small aircraft, home-built aircraft. Build it right here in this hangar. I'm a hobby because, uh, number one, I work at Scale Composites, and number two, it's the uh, epicenter of home-built aircraft with Burger Tan, obviously, uh, the history there. It was not a better place, any place, than to do what we love to do most. And that is have an idea, have the ability to go out in a shop like this and actually build it, and then find some trusting soul to get in it and see if it flies. It's not of interest to the people that hang out at Mojave if you can't build it. I'm on the board here at Mojave Makers, and I just love making stuff. It really are. Uh, just tons and tons of cool weird things being built here. Mojave is very unassuming. This is the kind of place where you would never know the types of activities that are going on here actually happen. Space has kind of been my passion since I was all really little. Here I found a way to do that uh, and I get to build the thing that's taking me there. We are Wasabi Air Racing. Wasabi Air Racing. <laughs> We got involved in air racing because it's a fantastic challenge as, as engineers, as pilots, and as, as builders. This is the mecca of aviation right here. The National Test Pilot School is the preeminent civilian flight test training center in the world. Flight test is going out and evaluating either an aircraft or an aviation system to determine whether it's safe and whether it meets certain requirements. Well, Mojave is just a naturally good place for flight tests. The first place you're out in the middle of nowhere, and being out in the middle of nowhere gives you enormous freedoms to take risk. It's wide open. What we're working on is new rocket propellants and new thrusters, and whenever you develop something new, it's it's a challenge <laughs> and there are successes and there are failures and you learn from both and you want to be somewhere where you can test um, and Mojave provides that. Companies that are operating out here are incredibly innovative and we encourage these companies to challenge on a daily basis. One of the few places in the world where we can freely test our rockets. We go out and we test three, four, five days a week. Mojave is a great place because it allows us the freedom to do this as well as the space. Don't be afraid to fail. You learn more through failure than you do success, every single time. You know, the folks at the spaceport, they want to help you. They're, they're not here to impede you. It's always easy to say no. If you say yes, you have to be willing to back it up and actually do something that is business friendly. So our job is getting to yes. Uh, Stu's there when you need him, you need something goes wrong, or you need some help here in the airfield, you pick up the phone, you call Stu, and he usually can solve your problem in a very short period of time, or we'll turn you on to somebody who can help solve your problem. The airport operators uh, understand what our mission is. They understand that what we do is, is experimental in nature. My job is to give people permission. And every day in the skies over Mojave and on the ground at Mojave Air and Spaceport, people take enormous risks, which someday will yield great things for all humanity. Uh, we have the freedom to do uh, a, lot of those, a lot of those crazy things that, that a lot of people wouldn't allow you to do at a normal airport. Well, we've got years of infrastructure. This is what we do out here. We're standing out here on our taxiway B. It's kind of our taxiway of dreams. I'm currently working on the Strata Launch Program, which is building a huge hangar down the flight line there, and that's going to be a lot of fun. Mojave's a really unique place if you look at what's being developed. Uh, it's a proven incubator for innovative design. It has a whole huge quotient of freedom and flexibility. And if you have some clever and innovative people that like to do neat things, and you put them in an environment of almost total freedom and flexibility, then what comes out of that is incredible. You know, those people may even build an airplane to fly around the world, or maybe even fly one that will go into space. You know, who knows what's going to happen? There's no place like this anywhere on the Earth. It's a pioneer spirit. It's frontier land. Making the impossible happen. Kind of a right stuff atmosphere. Pretty much can do an entrepreneurial type of place. But Mojave spirit, it's pioneering. Imagination and creativity and there's no limit. It's a group of people coming out here to get things done, very hands-on, and we're trying to make the commercial space thing really happen. There's a spirit of innovation here. 
Um, and it's been here for a long time. I think that's why companies come here. I think that's why you continue to see new companies coming here and trying out new ideas. The true freedom and flexibility, what they accomplish is only limited by what you can dream. Incredible what can happen. Hey, wait a minute, it did happen. Right here. Cool. Wow.